Hey, what's up, folks? How are you guys doing today? So, um, uh, took a long time coming just because I've been focused with uh, my newer devices that I just picked up. But I haven't forgotten, and um, here it is for you guys, the Desire 601, and it has root. You guys can see. Um, basically, um, there's several things you have to do to get this done. But what I did, and I'll put the link in the description of this video, and I'll also put in some of the stuff that I used. Because I followed this method here on Android forums, I followed just about every step except for two things. The two things was the recovery and the SU binaries. I grabbed the updated SU binaries and I'll put a link in the description for where you guys can download the updated version. And instead of using Phil's touch recovery, which this uh, post talks about, I used uh, the twerp recovery for KitKat for the Desire 601, which I grabbed from XDA. And uh, I'll have those in a zip file for you guys to download from my drive. And um, yeah, so basically you're going to follow this, this post, this forum, step by step. Step one, two, three, four, um, except for where it says to flash the recovery, you're actually going to use the twerp recovery. And uh, once you download that, you're going to want to rename the image file as just recovery.img. And you're going to use that. I would suggest placing it on your desktop so when you open your command prompts, um, you will be able to find it a lot easier. Also, I'll be including a much easier method of getting ADB and Fastboot on your laptop. Um, instead of downloading that whole bundle, I do have a more quicker version that installs all the drives the, the drivers that you need but follow this step step by step i'll have the link in the description and um yeah just follow it to a t unlock your bootloader flash your recovery and then um once you flash your recovery which is twerp then you're going to get the updated uh binaries for super su you're going to install those therefore uh super su will run on your desire 601 so, like I showed you guys, I have uh, root. Um, I'll show you guys right there. So you guys know there is root access. And just to top it up, I will boot into recovery for you guys to see that this device has root. Um, and it has twerp recovery. And uh, like I said, um, just follow it to a T. Uh, accept the recovery and the SU binaries. You're going to want this one right here, uh, Team Win Recovery Project version 2.6.3.0. This functions on the Desire 601 with KitKat. And uh, you'll need the SU binaries that's up to date. So I'll have all of those to reboot back to system. Um, yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, I think the only uh, part that I found that was like pretty, I guess you would say like mind-boggling, mind-boggling, was the ADB and Fastboot. I'm um, downloading the bundle; just seems to be like super annoying. So I found a different version. It is ADB still, but I think it's like more stripped down. Um, and what, all you gotta do is just run and install all your drivers, and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. Link in the description of this video, HTC Desire 601 KitKat root and recovery. Um, no, no ROM yet. I haven't flashed the ROM, but I will soon uh, just when I am. And one other thing is once you root it, do not remove bloatware because that will brick your device since the kernel has a, um, a security feature that does not allow you to alter uh, take it off any of the applications, including that annoying uh, Lumen toolbar. So don't do anything, but this will give you root. Um, and then uh, hopefully we have some more development for the desire, which then I will show you guys some really cool custom ROMs. Again, uh, my name is Rob. Everything Android. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great week.